do. Hello there, peoples of the internets. Once again, to another devlog. And uh, before I get started with the devlog, I want to say, as you may have noticed, it's been a week since the last one. And I did not plan for it to be a week since the last devlog. Um, I kind of thought I would do it right away. Uh, like the part thing, like breaking down this one big devlog into multiple parts. I thought each part would come out like day by day. It didn't work out that way because this entire week I am busy with uh, marching band camp. And you're like, what's that? If you actually care, which you probably don't. It is for my school. Uh, you have to like, it's a mandatory camp you have to go to, which is kind of like marching band boot camp. Um, and you have to go through it. And it's literally from 12 a.m. to 9 p.m. So I have, like, no time to do anything. So, yeah, I'm recording this right now. I don't know when I'll post it, but I'm recording this video at 11.49, as you can see in the top right corner. Um, and I am tired, so this may be a little rambly. Now, uh, let's get into this uh, finally. Um, I'm going to try to keep it under five minutes. Um... And I'm going today cover. Um, bleh, I'm going to cover today the second biggest change that went into this devlog, next to the AI, which I covered in the last video. Check it out if you haven't seen it, by the way. Um, uh, so that feature is the if I can find it on the change log. Ba, 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 here, the restructuring, complete restructuring of the render system. And I'm, if I have time, I may cover other stuff, but that's that'll be it for now. So what do I mean when I say the complete restructuring of the render system? Well, um, as you may have remembered, if you actually care at all, um, down, well, it's not here anymore, but it was in the render method. Um, there was this big, big, big chain of if statements that would were basically responsible for ren the like render I think I referred to it before as the render ordering system where basically if you're supposed to look like you're in front of an object you will be rendered on top of it so you'll be in front of it and if you're above it so you're supposed to, and you're supposed to then look like you're behind it then you'll look it'll um, render render you uh, behind it and you'll look like you're behind it uh, duh. so um, that was good and all, and I was really excited about it um, when I made it, but it's not really any good. Um, and it was really, it was just bad code overall. I mean, it was cool, and I was excited about it because it was like my first uh, foot, my first step into this kind of stuff, but it wasn't any good. So what I ended up doing was I created a thing called a comparator in the Sprite Batch class right here. And it basically takes two entities uh, side by side and goes through everything like that. But it takes two entities and compares their Y position and then returns a value uh, based on. So like you see like here, like whether the Y of one is greater than the other or it's less than the other or it's uh, the same. And then it returns it back to game that communicates with game and it basically sort and then uh, I do a thing here. I don't know. It's it's kind of weird to explain, but it basically just think of it as like one twentieth of the code size. Um, that was the other thing, and on top of that, when I want to add something, it takes inst where it would take like a hundred lines to add a new entity uh, into the system. It now takes like two lines, which is fantastic. So. Um, Wow, almost the end of the video, and I haven't even, like, run the game, which is fantastic. <laughs> um, we'll run the game, and yeah. Uh, ba -ba -ba. All right, so um, remember, like, this whole thing, and it looks like it's the same thing. Like, oh, yeah, nothing really changed, duh. Uh, like, the whole thing, like, where I'm behind it now, haha, -ha, and then I'm in front of it, but a lot has changed. Um, and you won't notice it now as well from the uh, QuickTime recording software um, kind of destroying the frames per second on this game. But um, when I run it outside of this, uh, I can have several applications running. And by the way, th uh, this is all on my laptop. 
and it still would run twice as fast as it did back when like twice to three times as fast as it did back when i had the other like old rendering system once i implemented the new thing it just ran so much faster it was fantastic um on top of that like i said uh the code is a lot cleaner it's a lot nicer it's a lot more efficient and it's dynamic which is something that i really when i was in spending my time in the camp i uh, the programming camp learning about this kind of stuff um i learned uh about a thing called uh, structuring your data and dynamic code. And that really kind of stuck with me. Uh, and that basically means that I have to really strive as a programmer to make my code as convenient to change and mess with and as, uh, I guess, as clean and as well written as I possibly can uh, just for the sake of like not later being completely inundated in random crap that just like shows up because I wasn't thinking about it um, I, like a half a month or two months before when I wrote the original code. So that's my advice, I guess, to anybody who's doing anything is make your code dynamic um, and it will help you a lot in the future. Um, so that being said, it's already six minutes. Uh, so I will be signing off now. Um, and I don't know when the next uh, video will come, the next part to this uh, thing, but I promise I will cover the entire devlog. That is a promise um, in however many videos it takes, but I will do it. Um, on top of that, um, instead of really working on this game, I've actually started a project for a school competition. Um, known, And uh, I may make a video about that, but uh, I'm going to mention it now to get the intrigue going uh for it but uh yeah that's it um and yeah goodbye internets